Now by linearity I can rewrite this as x over negative of x cubed negative 1 times dx which is again rewritten as negative x over x cubed negative 1 times dx. Now let me exclusively consider integral x over x cubed negative 1 times dx. Now there is a formula which is a cubed negative b cubed and it is written as a negative b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. So by this formula x cubed negative 1 cubed it doesn't matter whether you write 1 or 1 cubed it means the same. It's going to be x negative 1 times x squared positive x into 1 is x positive 1. So therefore if I were to take this as uh, some 1 or let me take it as 2. So therefore I can rewrite 2 as in place of uh, x cubed negative 1 I'm going to have x negative 1 times x squared positive x positive 1. The numerator has got an x and that is multiplied with dx. Now let me now consider x over x negative 1 times x squared positive x positive 1. I'm going to utilize partial fraction so a over x negative 1 since the degree is 2 this is rewritten as bx positive c divided by x squared positive x positive 1. So we cross multiply I get a times x squared positive x positive 1 positive bx positive c times x negative 1 on the left I get x. Now I will first allow x is equal to 1 so this will become 0. Now this is going to be a of 1 positive 1 positive 1 which is equal to 3 times a on the left I got a 1 so therefore this is going to be 1 over 3 so that's a value for a. Next let me just uh, take uh, x to be equal to 0 okay so this term if I were to substitute x is equal to 0 this goes off this goes off so I get a negative c this goes off this goes off so I get a a x is equal to 0 this goes off so therefore a is equal to c which means the value of c is also equal to 1 over 3 so now I've got a I got a c let me choose a random value say x is equal to negative 1 if you were to substitute x is equal to negative 1 I get a positive 1 here a negative 1 and a positive 1 so I get a here if you were to choose negative 1 that's going to be negative b positive c negative 1 is going to be negative 2 so this is equal to a distribute 2 you get 2 times b negative 2 times c now a is 1 over 3 and c is 1 over 3 so that's going to be negative 2 over 3 positive 2 times b now we have taken x is equal to negative 1 so on the left you have a negative 1 negative 1 now you add these two things and you will get negative 1 over 3 positive 2 times b you have a negative 1 push this to the other side you get negative 1 positive 1 over 3 is equal to 2 times b this is negative 3 positive 1 over 3 which is negative 2 over 3 is equal to 2 times b 2 2 gets cancelled therefore the value of b let me write that down b is equal to negative 1 over 3 okay so I will substitute a value b value c value let me utilize this part of the paper so therefore if I were to take this as sum 3 therefore 3 is rewritten as x over x negative 1 times x squared positive x positive 1 a is 1 over 3 so 1 over 3 times x negative 1 b is negative 1 over 3 times x divided by x squared positive x positive 1 and c is 1 over 3 right that's exactly what we have got 1 over 3 and 1 over 3 and uh, b is negative 1 over 3 so now what I would do is I would just split these things right our ultimate aim is to integrate right so I've taken I've taken this to be as uh, say 2 dash so therefore I can rewrite 2 dash as therefore 2 dash is rewritten as so this is going to be integral 
in place of this I'm going to substitute this so it's going to be 1 over 3 times dx over x negative 1 negative 1 over 3 times x dx divided by x squared positive x positive 1 and 1 over 3 times integral dx over x squared positive x positive 1 okay so this is equal to 1 over 3 now this is easily integrable right x negative 1 now for this what I wish to do is I would like to multiply by 2 and add a 1 and a subtract 1 because when I differentiate x squared positive x positive 1 I will get a 2x positive 1 so to counter that I am writing the numerator in this fashion divided by x squared positive x positive 1 but since I multiplied by 2 and these two terms add up to 0 all I need to do is counter that with a product multiple of the denominator with the 2 so this is followed by 1 over 3 integral dx over x squared positive x positive 1 so this is what we have got now this can be rewritten as integral I'm not integrating this I know the value but let us be consistent so this is going to be negative 1 over 6 times I will split this as 2x positive 1 times dx so dx is there divided by x squared positive x positive 1 now this quantity of 6 will be following this 1 also right with negative 1 so that is going to be giving us negative negative positive so positive 1 over 6 integral dx over x squared positive x positive 1 and you have a positive 1 over 3 integral dx over x squared positive x positive 1 okay so fair enough this is what we have got uh, what I can do is uh, I can take I can add up these two things if I add up these two things it's going to be 1 over 6 and 1 over 3 I take the LCM as 6 I would get 1 positive 2 which is 3 over 6 is going to be 1 over 2 so these two can be clumped and I get 1 over 3 integral dx over x negative 1 negative 1 over 6 integral 2x positive 1 times dx divided by x squared positive x positive 1 positive 1 over 2 times integral dx over x squared positive x positive 1 okay now if I were to consider this let me just consider integral 2x positive 1 divided by x squared positive x positive 1 times the dx let me take x squared positive x positive 1 is equal to sum t I differentiate I get 2x positive 1 times the dx is equal to dt so that is there in the numerator so this is going to be dt divided by t you integrate this you get ln of t which is nothing but ln of x squared positive x positive 1 you don't have to add the arbitrary constant because it's only part of this quantity so this is done now let me consider this one consider integral dx over x squared positive x positive 1 I want to rewrite this as integral dx over x positive 1 over 2 whole squared you expand this you get x squared positive 2 times x times 1 over 2 is going to be x and you have 1 over 4 but if I were to add 3 over 4 1 over 4 added with 3 over 4 will give me 1 this can be further rewritten as dx over x positive 1 over 2 whole squared positive root of 3 over 2 whole squared this is similar to integral dx over x squared positive a squared which is equal to 1 over a tan inverse of x over a positive c now let me go to the next sheet and thereby I can rewrite this as 1 over this is a so the root of 3 over 2 tan inverse of x positive 1 over 2 divided by root 3 over 2 tan inverse of x over a so this can be further rewritten as 2 over root 3 tan inverse of 2x positive 1 divided by 2 multiplied with 2 over root 3 2 2 gets cancelled giving me 2 over root 3 tan inverse of 2x negative it's positive 1 right so tan inverse so 2x positive 1 divided by root 3 so this is the term for this we just considered this so if I were to unify everything if I were to take this as some 3 dash 
so I can rewrite this right so therefore the 3 dash therefore 3 dash is rewritten this is going to be 1 1 over 3 times ln modulus of x negative 1 so this is the quantity followed by negative 1 over 6 this quantity is this so it's going to be ln modulus of x squared positive x positive 1 and this quantity this quantity is going to be this so positive 1 over 2 times 2 over root 3 tan inverse of 2x positive 1 divided by root 3 2 2 gets cancelled so if I were to rewrite this this is 1 over 3 ln modulus x negative 1 negative 1 over 6 ln modulus x squared positive x positive 1 positive 1 over root 3 tan inverse of 2x positive 1 divided by root 3 but what is all of this this is what we have got and actually we are we are splitting this term but where did we get that I need to show you where exactly we got that so let me move up and show you that so this is the term you see that we split it in partial fractions and we integrated and we got it but apparently this is what we considered but this is what we require right this is the requirement so therefore what I will do therefore integral I am going to write this what is it negative x over 1 negative x cubed uh, this is x cubed negative dx this is x cubed so therefore integral with a negative sign x over x cubed negative 1 times dx this is what is this without the negative sign so now I will bring in the negative sign if I were to bring in this negative sign I would have a uh, a pre multiplying with this quantity right with the negative 1 over x is going to be positive 6 times ln modulus x squared positive x positive 1 this is going to be negative 1 over 3 ln modulus x negative 1 and this is going to be negative 1 over root 3 tan inverse of 2x positive 1 divided by root 3 so this is this with the arbitrary constancy okay so that would be the end of this particular question so we have actually started with this and then we wrote re rewrote this to be in this fashion so that's the reason this will also be the solution for x over 1 negative x cubed times dx which is apparently this representation so the, because it allowed us to utilize the all important formula of a cubed negative b cubed and that's the reason we were able to solve I cannot that's one of the ways in which we can solve it so apparently this is going to be the solution for the original question so I think is a good place for us to stop